In today's fast-paced world, technical skills are essential, but understanding and connecting with the people around you is equally crucial for success in the workplace. Empathy is the key to stronger teamwork, better communication, and more harmonious relationships with your coworkers, clients, and customers. If you've ever wondered how to foster empathy in your professional life, you're in the right place. Join us as we explore practical strategies that can help you become a more empathetic and successful professional. Think of empathy as a magical solution. When you use empathy, it can help you solve almost any problem. Understanding how others feel is essential at work. It helps us fix conflicts, build better teams, and get along with our colleagues, clients, and customers. However, we often feel unsure about improving our people skills, even though we're confident in learning technical stuff. And many of us find it awkward to talk about our feelings, let alone someone else's. Simply put, empathy means recognizing how others feel and understanding their point of view. When empathy is well-developed, it allows you to use this understanding to improve someone's mood and support them when they're going through tough times. But it's important to know that empathy and sympathy aren't the same. Sympathy is when you care about someone and want them to be happier, even if you don't necessarily understand their feelings or perspective. You might feel sympathy for a stranger you see crying on the street without knowing their story. However, sympathy can evolve into empathy over time. According to psychologist Daniel Goleman, empathy is one of the five critical aspects of emotional intelligence. It grows in three stages, cognitive empathy, emotional empathy, and compassionate empathy. Cognitive empathy means being able to figure out what someone else might be thinking or feeling. It doesn't necessarily involve sharing their emotions. Managers can use cognitive empathy to understand how their team members are doing and decide on the best way to lead them effectively. Similarly, salespeople can use it to sense a customer's mood and choose the right tone for their conversation. Cognitive empathy is mostly about using your intellect without getting emotionally involved. Emotional empathy means feeling what someone else feels, allowing you to understand them more deeply. It's like stepping into their shoes and connecting with them on a personal level. However, for some people, this type of empathy can be overwhelming. If you're very empathetic, you might find it challenging to handle other people's problems or pain, especially if you can't fix the situation. To prevent emotional burnout from being too generous with your emotions, you should take breaks, set boundaries, and build your emotional resilience. For leaders, having some level of emotional empathy is beneficial. It helps build trust among team members and encourages open and honest communication. But empathy becomes most valuable when it's combined with taking action to support others. Compassionate empathy is the most helpful type of empathy. It's not only about caring for someone and feeling what they feel, but also taking real steps to make things better for them. For instance, let's say one of your team members is feeling upset and angry because they messed up an important presentation. It's great to show that you understand their feelings, but it's even better to set aside some time for them and offer practical help or advice to get through the situation and do better next time. At first, showing empathy might feel hard. You could be worried about getting too emotional or unsure if you can do it. But don't worry, you can learn. To be good at empathy, you have to stop thinking only about your own views and try to understand how the other person sees things. This way, you can see that behavior which might seem overly emotional, stubborn, or unreasonable is just their reaction based on what they know and have experienced. You can get better at this by practicing these techniques regularly until they become a natural part of how you interact with others. When someone talks to you, pay close attention. Use your ears, eyes, and gut feelings to understand everything they're saying. First, listen for the important words and phrases, especially if they say them more than once. Also, consider not only what they're saying, but how they're saying it. Do their tone and body language show anger, shame, or fear? Go even further by listening with empathy. Don't ask direct questions, argue with them, or challenge their facts right away. Be ready for the conversation to shift as the person's thoughts and feelings change. You've probably heard the saying, before you criticize someone, try to see things from their point of view. Take a look at your own thoughts and be open to different perspectives. 
Focusing too much on your own ideas and beliefs doesn't leave room for empathy. When you understand why others think the way they do, it's important to acknowledge it. You don't have to agree, and this isn't the time to argue. Instead, show respect and keep listening. If you're not sure, ask the person to explain their point of view more and inquire about their ideas for resolving the issue. Asking the right questions is one of the simplest and most direct ways to understand someone else. There's no single right way to show your caring empathy. It depends on the situation, the person involved, and how they're feeling. Remember, empathy isn't about your preferences, but what the other person needs and wants. So any action you take or suggest should benefit them. For instance, imagine a team member who's struggling to focus at work because of personal issues. You might think letting them work from home is the kind thing to do, but they might find work to be a welcome distraction from their troubles. So ask them which approach they prefer. When you show a genuine interest in what others think, feel, and experience, you'll build a reputation as someone who is caring, trustworthy, and approachable. This makes you a valuable asset to your team and your organization. As we conclude our journey into developing empathy at work, remember that empathy isn't just a soft skill, but a powerful tool for personal and professional growth. By understanding and connecting with the people around you, you can foster better relationships, enhance teamwork, and ultimately contribute to a more positive and productive workplace. Make empathy a part of your daily work life and watch as it not only transforms your interactions, but also fuels your career. So go out there and practice empathy in your workplace and let it become your secret weapon for success. If you found this video insightful and want to see more, check out some of our previous videos and hit the subscribe button to stay connected.